Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find the double integrals. So the first question they want to find the graph of the region. So we have the x, the y. So in this one about the x, we can see that x is between e to the power of y and e to the power of number 3. dy from 0 to number 3. So, if we look on the graph, we can see that this one, they don't represent about number 0 to number 3 in here. This is wrong. This one, we have number 0 to number 3. But, this one, they don't represent about e to the power of 3 in here. So that means this one is wrong. So we just have only 8 and d. Now we need to consider about this one. So if we look carefully, s, they go on horizontal in here. So we can see that e to the power of 3, that is about the vertical line. So in this one, we can say that s is greater than or equal to e to the power of y. So that means that we have one function that go in here and one vertical line in here. So that means we just have only d they can represent in here. This one, they just represent about this one. That is about number 0. And this one, that is about e to the power of y. So this one is wrong. So we just have d. Question number two, they want to change the order. So that form ds dy into dy ds. Now, this one, that is for y. So based on this one, we have this one in here. We put natural law for the both sides. And this one in here, you got about y. So that means in this one, y is greater than or equals to number 0 and smaller than or equals to f and s. About this one, that is about ask so the point in here we consider about this one we can see that at this point we have y equals to number zero that means s equals to number one because f n number one you got number zero so that means S in here that should be form number one and e to the power of number three and now we can put inside the bounds in here so c that is about number zero and d that is about f and s and number one that is for eight b that is about e to the power of three and now we have new double integrals in here. So the interpretation of dy we have about y in here. And we put the bounds f and s go in here, number zero go in here.
Now we simplify. And we have the final answer. So I will put this one code in here. And this is the final answer. That is the end. Thank you for watching.